Welcome to this clean room. Yesterday I was very busy cleaning up all the mess and throwing out all the extra furniture that I have in the other room so that you can't see, so that I can create an illusion that I have a clean and beautiful space to work in. Now the plan for today's video is I want to make some progress on the menu bar app because today I've been mostly been around town and just enjoying the beautiful day outside. Here's a quick update on my Apple Watch. So mostly I've been interested in activity tracking and this week uh, I managed to hit my goals in almost all days except Thursday. But anyway, I wanted to show you this one stat that I'm really proud of. So if we go down, you can see that this week I covered 102 kilometers. This really surprised me, but I'm really glad that I have this kind of tracking because otherwise I would never know. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Let's see, let's see. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, maybe it's just empty. Never mind, well, let's figure that out. Okay, so in this box is where I have all my remaining electronics and other accessories. So let's open it up real quick. So for this one, I'm going to need an adapter. Okay, adapter check. Then I'm gonna need the cable for the keyboard itself. Let's see. Uh, not here, I think it's here. Yep, so it's a micro USB to USB A. This is the only inconvenient thing about this keyboard. It goes like this. this. Here, yep. All right, let me delete all the files. This is the yesterday's vlog files. I can just delete those. Oh, is it better with light? Uh, not too bright. Um, let's open up Xcode. Oh, I need to put this box back. There you go. All right, opening up Xcode. So we have the app here. That was quick. So we are back in the event tab problem. And here's where I started working on the timer interval. What I wanna do is every 15 seconds or so, I wanna try and recreate the event tab. That's at least the plan. So to make sure that I'm not recreating event tabs that are already working, I was thinking I can sort of save the last time that any event has been detected. And if that time is like longer than 15 seconds, then try to recreate the event tab. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so, so far it seems to be working. Um, I'm gonna have to test this out tomorrow um, in a more detailed fashion. It's been running for maybe five minutes now and seems like it's not crashing, which is always honestly a great sign. So yep, uh, this was quite easy to do and I hope that it's gonna work on the new monitor tomorrow. I can already see how I'm gonna have to change my window manager so that it can support the vertical monitors, but that's okay, I, I think we can work on that tomorrow. This week has been quite interesting for me because I've been really trying hard to upload every day and I'm really grateful for all your comments and support because without that I wouldn't have found the motivation. So see you again tomorrow guys.